Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Long time no speak. Today I wanted to do a different kind of video. I wanted to introduce this monthly reset series. I watch a lot of these videos on YouTube and I actually really like them. A lot of girls will show how they reset for their month with budgeting, uh, planning, maybe creating new routines and I wanted to try it out. Um, I wanted to see if you guys liked it and I think it'll be kind of nice to recap the month with you guys in a different way. Basically what I want to do is I want to go over my personal goals, work goals, and then like kind of financial goals as well. And I want to also recap the month before. So the following month I'll recap September and I'll kind of tell you guys if I was able to stick with my goals or not. So for someone like me, I am not a huge planner girl. I have tried to do it so many times. I can't tell you how many planners I have purchased and I write things down and it just never sticks. So if there's something that I really want to do, I'll usually write it down in my notes. So if that's all I'm using is my notes app. I'm not using anything crazy or specific to plan out my month as far as my goals. So I'm going to recap my August. So August was my birthday month and August was really good for me. I hit a lot of my goals. I hit my goal weight, which at the time was 130, which I haven't been 130 in a very long time, like basically before the pandemic. I kind of talked to you guys about my weight before and I stayed consistent with my diet and working out. This is something that I've struggled with struggled with for a very long time. I've always said how I wanted to get fit and healthy and to, by no means am I there yet, but I have definitely stayed really consistent in it. And I was just really happy to finally hit that goal. I think also for me, I'm starting to discover more of my personal style. I know, I don't know about you guys, but pandemic, I thought I was a a streetwear girly. I thought I was an activewear girly. And just now, like, as I get older, I'm like, I don't like wearing athleisure all the time. I don't like streetwear. I have a certain look that I'm going for. And it's also okay to experiment, but it's also okay to stick to like classic things. So that was really good for me. Um, August was my birthday. I turned 27 and I'm actually really excited to get older. I know some people are a little scared of getting older, but I actually like it. I can't wait to, you know, have a family and get married and just kind of see where my life is as I get older basically. So I was happy that I was a year older. I was trying to do a dry August, which I pretty much basically did just um, for my birthday weekend, I decided to drink and I find that drinking is just, I enjoy a glass of wine, I enjoy cocktails, but it's just something that does not, not saying that drinking really resonates with anyone, but it's not something that's fun to me anymore, to be honest. I think socially it's fun, depending on the volume of the alcohol that you're consuming, but I think August really kind of showed me that I am fine without drinking. Like I told you guys before, I went two months, like two and a half months with no alcohol. It was really hard for me at first, but afterwards I was like, this is, this is a breeze. Like I can't believe how much better I feel, how much my face got so much smaller from not drinking. And yeah, so that's really a recap of August for me. I just want to get into some goals. So my personal goals for this month are definitely I'm going to start out with health. So for me, I want to hit my new goal weight of 125. Right now I kind of teeter between 128 and 130. So usually my normal weight is around like 128.2.4 and it fluctuates, you know, like with being bloated or just depending on something you eat. So I want my weight to be 125 so that way I can fluctuate from like 125 to 128. And I really want to work hard to hit my goal this month or at least in the right direction. So for me, that is making sure that I meal prep, you know, not eating out, um, cutting down my sugar, as well as upping my water intake. I try to drink at least three to four 32 fluid ounce bottles of water a day, just because I find if I'm not, if I'm dehydrated, I tend to bloat more or just things aren't 
moving as well as they should so yeah those are my health goals also going to the gym consistently which i have been doing but i just want to really make sure that i make the most of my gym membership because i pay a lot for my gym and i really need to use it as well as closing my apple watch rings so I think right now my rings are at like 450, 45 minutes and 6 hours standing which I've been able to close. Sometimes I'll change them depending on the day but yeah just kind of that baseline, make sure that I'm hitting all my goals, definitely moving around. I know for me since moving to Manhattan, I wish that I took more advantage of like the summertime walking around. I would always go to the gym and get my 10,000 steps on the treadmill, but I'm like, why don't I just go outside and just walk in the beautiful city? So another one with my health that I try to sleep by 1030, latest maybe 11. Sometimes I have a hard time falling asleep, so obviously I wake up later. And the later you wake up, I feel like the less you have every day. But I definitely want to enjoy the day and not go to sleep so late. I also want to cut down my alcohol consumption. So for this month, I think that I'll probably only be drinking one time, which we're going to be going to a wedding. So that's the only time that I see myself drinking so i think i'm gonna limit myself to maybe two drinks some more personal goals are i want to grow some more friendships that i'm making i want to be a better friend to the friends that i have and yeah i feel like the older i get the more i realize i don't have a ton of friends which is perfectly fine but i want to be able to keep these friendships friendships that i do have and make them long lasting I also want to be more diligent with practicing my Korean. If you guys don't know, but I'm sure you do know, I am Korean. So I want to be fluent in it, but I just like sometimes it's so hard learning a language. I just definitely need to practice more and speak to friends because I have a lot of Korean friends and I just need to speak to them to be honest. But definitely speaking more and practicing more putting in more hours when it comes to the language because i know like i'm gonna have to practice if i want to learn obviously and i also want to do a little bit more reading i'm currently reading this book called fast like a girl which is basically a health book i'll link it down below if you guys are interested but i definitely want to read at least one book a month okay so now going into work i definitely want to be more consistent with youtube i know i'm like a broken record i say this all the time i know you guys are probably sick of hearing it but i think actually i'm not even gonna make excuses to be honest i should be uploading more so for youtube i want to upload at least once a week but at least once to twice a week whether that whether that be like a weekly vlog, a wellness diaries, um, just like, I don't know, anything. I'm also thinking about doing a homebody diaries because I am a homebody. So let me know if vlogs at home would be interesting to you guys. But definitely just being more consistent. That's all I wrote is be consistent with whatever I do, whether it's YouTube, flashing. I just want to make sure that I am consistent for the month. Okay, so now on to money. I will be talking about this soon in a Get Rid of Me video or my birthday haul video, but I am going on a trip next year. I am so excited. Like, guys, this is my dream trip. I feel like I will be reconnected. <laughs> I know it sounds insane, but I feel like I'm going to be reconnected. It's just something that I'm just so excited about. Saving for me isn't that bad. But I like to buy a lot of little things, so I'm going to have to cut that out. So the things that I wrote down that I need to stop, eating out. So I didn't really eat out that much until I feel like we moved to Manhattan. Like, we go, we went out so much, guys. Like, always eating out. We didn't really do that much takeout, but just eating out a lot. So that's one thing that I really need to cut out. And that saying, we have food at home, girl, we have food at home. So we need to really keep that in mind. The second thing is no fast food. So for me, fast food is like sweet green, um, juice generation. For example, sweet green is a place, it's kind of like Chipotle, but it's salads. And I have a sweet pass, so I pay $10 a month and I basically get like 
three dollars off every single day which is, a, which is a really good deal but that adds up like on top you're paying for the subscription and plus you're buying salads and there was a point i was buying salads every single day for like two weeks and with the discount my salads end up being around nine dollars like 980 after tax and just adding all that up it really adds up also with my smoothies i love juice generation you scan it you obviously get points and sometimes you get free smoothies but i was going all the time and the smoothies after tax are around 11 to 12 dollars and at that point it's just like i don't need a damn smoothie so those things I definitely need to cut out. Same thing goes for coffee. I don't really buy a lot of coffee outside. I usually do like my Nespresso pods and I'll put it in my to-go to go cups. But I did get some Starbucks this month because I had a gift card actually. Sometimes like I'll go out like with like friends or something, we'll get coffee. I'll go out with my boyfriend and I'll get coffee or something. I just want to really not buy just like these look like honestly these little drinks really add up um also one thing i forgot to write down is subscriptions so for me i will sign up for a subscription like nobody's business especially if they're giving a free trial for that app i will do it and i had to look at my subscriptions and i was like why am i paying so much money to apple like why am i paying almost 60 dollars to apple so i had to get rid of so many subscriptions like just different photo editing apps like my spotify subscription i didn't realize that i had a family plan so i was paying basically 17 dollars for my spotify when the lowest plan is like 10 dollars. So i was like why don't i just switch over to there um i have a lot of like tv show apps so for example hbo max hulu netflix disney plus i took off disney plus hbo max which I have some favorite shows on there like Sex in the City, but I'm like, I can just find that somewhere else. Is there a damn fly? I'm gonna be so mad just flying around, guys. Netflix is the only one that I'm keeping because I do find myself watching Netflix a lot more. But Hulu I got rid of. Just these different um, TV show apps. I was just like, why do I have them? So I got rid of those. My next thing is no Amazon purchases. So for me, I don't do big Amazon purchases. Like I don't do bulk. I do like every couple of days and that stuff adds up. And the thing about Amazon is they don't charge you until you until they ship out your item. So like I'll be looking at my account and I'm like, girl, why is there so much money gone? And it's Amazon and I'm like, what did I even buy from Amazon? I got this one little thing but just so many things from Amazon that I buy. And I'm just like, you don't need it. No Amazon for September for me. Next thing is no buying clothes. So the reason why I don't wanna buy clothes is because I do wanna lose a little bit more weight. Um, and I don't want to buy, especially statement pieces or staple pieces, I might say. I don't want to spend money on those because for example, my Aritzia Effortless Pants. I have them in a size four. And I bought like four colors of those. They're like $148 a pop. After tax is like 160. They still fit, but they're a little ill-fitting because I have lost weight like in my legs. So it's a little baggy in the crotch area. And it's like, that's what, five, $600 on pants that I spent but I want to lose some weight and I want to make sure the pieces that I buy I invest in and I just don't need to be buying clothes. Like I'll go onto Zara and Zara is expensive now to be honest. So I'll go onto Zara, I'll pick something up and my total will be like $150 and I swear I only have two things when I could have just saved that and put it towards something else. So I definitely want to buy a lot of clothes on my trip. So that's why I don't really want to buy any clothes for this month so that's another thing no buying clothes oh another thing that i forgot to mention is no i don't want to spend any money on beauty services so i already do my nails um my hair but some things that i do buy are like eyelash perm kits i don't want to buy those because honestly i haven't had a lash lift in months and i feel like my lashes still look great and i don't want to do 
waxes because waxes honestly they really add up like european wax center now i think it's 70 dollars to get a wax i remember when it was like 50 60 dollars it's now 70 dollars to do a wax so i can just do my wax at home i think that is it for my no buy list so no fast food no amazon no clothes um no eating out and no buying no buying coffee or energy drinks as well you guys so on to the saving portion i think for me i want to put aside around 750 a month my goal is to save if i'm being over ambitious my goal is to save around seven thousand dollars for this trip but i think i'll realistically it'll probably be around five to six thousand because i don't know like how much money i'm going to be spending but yeah so my goal right now is to put away 750 into my savings account obviously it grows over time that is my goal for september i will check back in with you guys next month to see if i stuck with my goals and i'll give you guys my new goals for october maybe as the time goes on a little i'll get a little bit more intricate as far as budgeting i'm not a great budgeter that's why i didn't even try to put it in this video to be honest but yeah let me know if this video was helpful for you guys i'm very curious to see if this is something that you guys would like me to keep going with but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope your september goes well and i'll talk to you guys next time bye